In this two-part video, I'll show you how to make a shoot blocker for a fair 61-inch mower. This probably could be adapted to other mowers or other fair size mowers. Ferris mowers come with this nice chute opener that has a rubber flap and a nice metal hinge. This metal hinge can be used to create the chute adapter that we're going to make. This opening on my mower is roughly 5 inches tall by 23 inches. The first step will be to remove the chute that comes on your Ferris. This is done with a 15 millimeter socket or wrench. After removing the three bolts, the chute blocker just pops off that easy. Save this bottom bracket as it'll be used to connect the chute blocker we're gonna make. You will place some L brackets in between these two pieces later. Now to make the chute blocker, you just need to purchase a 24 by eight, 16 gauge steel plate. Measure it accordingly, cut off the excess you do not need. For my deck, the Ferris 61 inch ICD deck, it was about five inches. So I needed to cut off roughly three inches of metal from the sheet. You can choose what tool you use to do this. I just bought a metal cutting blade for my jigsaw. Next, I needed to make a measurement for the curve that happens at the front of the deck. On my mower, it was an inch and a quarter. So I just mark a line where I'm gonna bend the metal. Since I don't have any metal bending tools, I simply just took a board, clamped it down on my sawhorse, really tight. Then I grabbed a sand hammer and just whacked the hell out of it. There you go, bent to the angle I need, perfect. Now on the back side of the chute cover, there is an angle that I need to bend. So I just scored this area to make it easier to bend. This particular angle needs to be five inches from the end. Clamped it down, and I was just able to push it down lightly with my hand. Voila! Now I just need to make a cut at the top of this, about a half an inch, maybe a little less, so it'll fit underneath the bracket on the mower. If you haven't placed your two L brackets, now's a good time to do this. If you have, You'll need to drill three holes to rivet the chute blocker to. After you drill those holes, you'll need to drill some holes in the metal. Make sure that you mark where those holes need to be so you don't have trouble when you try to place your rivets. Now you can simply put the chute blocker on, pop in some rivets, and attach the blocker. After you drill your holes, make sure you clean them off before you place the rivets in. If everything goes to plan, it'll look nice and smooth and clean. Now we're ready to paint it, we just have to prep the surface. Typically whenever you buy these sheets, they have some type of an oil on them. So make sure that you wipe that all off and clean it really good before painting the surface. To paint this, I bought Fusion All-in-One. It claims that it can be painted on any surface and should have less streaking. I put a couple of coats on this just to make it extra thick.
One step I should have done first was to cut down these brackets so they fit nicely on the mower without being seen. But since I already painted it, I had to go ahead and cut them anyways. All right, let's go ahead and attach the bracket to the shoe cover. This goes underneath the L brackets and in between the top bracket. Just take a bolt, put the nut on it, and you're good to go. All right, here's our finished project. This thing looks really amazing. I'm actually really excited how it came out. I have mowed with it once. It worked really well. It stayed down whenever mowing and did not pop back up. In the next video, I'll show you guys how I created an attachment to raise and lower it easily. Again, without having to drill any holes in my mower deck. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. Have you guys built one yourself? If you have, let me know what you thought of it. And as always, run, bike, mow, and just have fun. See you guys next time.